The Apostle Paul was a force as far as faith goes. On the road to Damascus to persecute Christians, Paul met Jesus face to face, and he got saved. Paul did whatever was asked of him by the Lord, and he spread the gospel to the Gentiles. Paul was a highly educated Pharisee and was viewed as a turncoat and heretic by the Jewish religious leaders. These were Paul's former companions. Paul endured stonings, beatings, and arrests for his faith in his preaching of Yeshua as the Hamashiach. Paul moved to Rome after being ostracized for Christ in Jerusalem, Acts 28, 30, and 31. Then Paul dwelt two whole years in his own rented house and received all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no one forbidding him. Paul had previously been held in prison in Rome, as the Jewish religious leaders had wanted him extradited back to Jerusalem for trial, but he was released. By God's grace, Paul delivered the gospel message from Rome freely for two years. The religious leaders in Jerusalem had driven him out, and they were still after him in Rome. They would not hear the gospel, so Paul brought the gospel to us, the Gentiles. Acts 28.28 28. Therefore, let it be known to you that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. On the 18th of July, 64 AD, a massive fire broke out in Rome and destroyed 10 of its 14 districts. It was believed to have started in an oil warehouse, but then rumors started that Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicu had the fire set so that he could rebuild those areas to his own liking. Nero tried to suffocate the rumors, but they continued to spread, so he looked for a scapegoat, Christians. As recorded in the historical book The Annals by Tacitus in 109 AD, but all human efforts, all the lavish gifts of the emperor, and the propitiations of the gods did not banish the sinister belief that the conflagration was the result of an order. Consequently, to get rid of the report, Nero fastened the guilt and inflicted the most exquisite tortures on a class hated for their abominations, called Christians by the populace. Accordingly, an arrest was first made of all who pleaded guilty of being Christians. Then upon their information, an immense multitude was convicted, not so much for the crime of firing the city, as of hatred against mankind. On all who pleaded guilty of being Christians, Nero inflicted the most exquisite tortures. Nero ordered horrible executions for Christians in Rome. He covered them in animal skins and had them torn apart by dogs. He doused them in tar and used them as human torches to light the night sky for his dinner parties. He sent them to the Colosseum to be eaten alive by lions, amongst many other horrible things. Paul was again arrested, this time as the ringleader of the Christians. False charges were brought against him and against his and our Christian brothers and sisters, not only for the burning of Rome, but for hatred against mankind. Christians were convicted on false charges. They were the fall guys, Nero's scapegoats. They were viewed as radicals. Nero was off the hook. Paul was nearing the end of his life in Rome, and he knew it. In 2 Timothy 4, 6, and 7, he wrote, For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Paul records in 2 Timothy 4, 17 and 18, But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that the message might be preached fully through me and that all the Gentiles might hear. Also I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Paul had stood faithfully in the Lord and preached the gospel to the Gentiles. He had suffered many things, and in his letters to the churches he often wrote about rejoicing in his suffering for the gospel. I am grateful to the Lord for Paul's ministry. I feel that Jesus Christ made an exceptional choice with Paul. Christian tradition holds that Paul was beheaded by the Romans under the Emperor Nero. 
Paul's execution is debated to have taken place between 66 AD and 68 AD. Ironically, in June 68 AD, Nero himself tried to commit suicide, but he failed and he needed help in doing so. On June 9th, 68 AD, he died.